hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x plus 3 whole square is equals to 4 and we solve this problem for the values of x so here uh, we first find the roots of this equation and at the last we will check that which of these roots are solution and which of these roots are extraneous roots of this equation and at the last i can explain the term extraneous root so please watch this video uh, at the end uh, and now here we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we uh, move forward towards the first method and in first method uh, we just use here uh, the square root technique uh, so in square root technique we uh, need to apply here the square root on both of the sides of the given equation so after applying square root on both of the sides it will be written as x plus 3 whole square and its square root is equals to square root of 4 and now you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here x plus 3 is equals to here we see that uh, the square root of 4 becomes 2 also you know about that when we apply the square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign any one of the side so here we write this into the right hand side and now we break this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x plus 3 is equals to plus 2 and here we write x plus 3 is equals to minus 2 and now further in the next step we have we move this plus 3 to the right hand side and it will be written as x is equals to 2 minus 3 and from here we get x is equals to minus 2 minus 3 and here we will get our x is equals to minus 1 this is the our first root of the given equation and from here we will get our x is equals to minus 2 minus 3 is equals to minus 5 this is the our second root of the given equation so here we, uh, we find these two roots uh, from first method and now here first we find uh, first we again solve this problem for a second method and uh, at the last we will verify the roots and check that which of the roots are solution and uh, which of the roots are extraneous root okay so uh, in second method we first copy down given question statement here it is x plus 3 whole square equals to 4 <clears throat> and now here in the second method uh, we uh, use here uh, the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we use this nice formula so according to uh, this formula you see here uh, first we write our given question statement as in this form uh, here we have x plus 3 whole square and we move this plus 4 into the left hand side it will becomes minus 4 and now we again rewrite this equation as x plus 3 whole square minus we write this 4 as 2 square is equal to 0 and now here you see that the base of this term is our a and <clears throat> the base of this term is our b so according to this formula uh, we make the factors of these two uh, terms uh, according to the right hand side of the above formula so first we have the first factor is a minus b and uh, the value of a is x plus 3 and minus the value of b is 2 into again a plus b the value of a is x plus 3 and the value of b is 2 is equals to 0 further in the next step <clears throat> we have this is x plus 1 times of this is 3 plus 2 becomes 5 is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x plus 1 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x plus 5 is equals to 0 so from first case we easily get the value of x is equals to minus 1 this is the uh, first root which we get here from second method and from here we have x is equals to this is plus 5 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes minus 5 
so uh, you see here in the second method we uh, get the same roots uh, of the given equation and now further in the next step uh, here we need to verify these two roots and we separate the solution and extraneous root okay so first we copy down given question statement here it is x plus 3 whole square equals to 4 and in this side we will verify x is equals to minus 1 and in this side we will verify x is equals to minus 5 so now you see here when we verify x is equals to minus 1 it means that we need to put this value into the left hand side of this equation and it will be written as this is minus 1 plus 3 whole square equals to 4 this will be written as minus 1 plus 3 becomes 2 square is equals to 4 and uh, now further in the next step we have so here we have this is 2 square becomes 4 is equals to 4 so this shows that the value of x is equals to minus 1 is satisfied our given question statement and now in the same pattern we verify x is equals to minus 5 so we put this value into the given question statement it will be written as minus 5 plus 3 whole square is equals to 4 and here we have minus 5 plus 3 becomes minus 2 square is equals to 4 and minus 2 square is equals to 4 equals to 4 so this also shows that the second value of x is also satisfied our given question statement so these are the two solutions of the given equation and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos